Hi. Welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Selecting in Object Mode. Blender provides a number of different methods for selecting objects. To demonstrate these methods, I have placed a number of primitive mesh objects in my scene. A UV sphere, a cone, a tube, a monkey, and a cube object. The simplest method to select an object in object mode is to right-click on the object. Here I will select the UV sphere. Note that a selected object is outlined in yellow. Now I can add to the selection by holding down my Shift key and right-clicking on an additional object. Here I will hold my Shift key down and right-click select the cone object, and then the tube object. Note that the last object I added to the selection sequence, the tube object, has a brighter outline than the UV sphere or the cone objects. This indicates that it is the active object of the selection sequence. Some Blender tools rely on the special nature of the last object selected in a sequence, like the Boolean tool or the parenting tool. I can deselect all of the selected objects by clicking on the A key. The A key is a toggle select key. It alternates between nothing selected and everything selected. Note that when I press the A key to select everything in a scene, it includes the camera and the lamp objects. Here I will select the UV sphere, hold down my shift key, and add the cube and the tube objects to the selection. I can remove the cube from the selection by holding down my shift key and clicking twice on the cube, once to make the, make the cube an active object in the selection, and once more to remove it from the selection. Here I will press the A key to deselect everything. Another way to select objects is using the Outliner panel. A simple left click will select any object. Here I will select the cube object. I can add to the selection by holding my shift key down and left clicking on additional objects in the outliner panel. Here I will add the monkey and the cone to the selection. Note that the cone, selected last, is the active object. I'll press the A key to deselect the objects and press numpad 7 to go into top orthographic view. I'll also press the Z key to go into wireframe shading mode. The same selection methods are available while in wireframe mode as they are in solid shading mode. An important difference is that you need to right-click on one of the wireframe lines to actually select the object. Note that right-clicking on the open space areas of a cube in wireframe will not select it. However, if I click on one of the cube's wireframe lines, the cube is selected. I'll deselect this cube. Another method for selecting objects in object mode is to click the B key, which is the box or border select method. When you press the B key, a dotted crosshair is displayed, and you can click and drag a box around an object or a group of objects to make a selection. Here I'll press the B key and click and drag a box around the UV sphere, the cube, and the tube, selecting them. You can add to a box select by holding your shift key down and right-clicking on an object. Here I will add the monkey object to the selection. You can also add to a box selection by simply pressing the B key again without holding the shift key down and just drag another box selection. Here I will add the cone with a box select. I'll press the A key and deselect the objects. Notice that when using the box select, any object that is even partially in the box is selected. For instance, I will partially box select the UV sphere and the cube. I'll press the A key to deselect everything. Another selection method is the C key or circle select. Clicking on the C key creates a circle selection which can be moved anywhere in the scene. You can increase or decrease the size of the circle select by using the center scroll wheel. If an object is more than half inside the circle select and you left click, the object is selected. Here I will select the cube, but not the tube. 
Once you make a circle select, the circle select remains active, and you can go on to add other objects using the circle select. Here I'll add the UV sphere, and then add the monkey, and then the cone object. Right click to stop circle selecting. I'll deselect all of these objects. Another selection method is the lasso select. Holding down the control key allows you to left click and drag a lasso selection area around objects. Here I will lasso select the UV sphere, the cube, and the cone. As you can see, the lasso select is a little unwieldy, but it works quite well once you get used to it. The objects need to be more than 50% inside the lasso to be selected. I'll deselect all of these objects. In addition to all the selection methods I've described, there are more special types of selections found under the Select menu on the 3D Editor Viewport header. You can select by layer, by type, by group, select linked items, or even select by name pattern. 